In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. And when they had come to the other side, to the country of the Jezreens, there met him two demon-possessed men, <clears throat> coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce, so that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a good way off from them there was a herd of many swine feeding, so the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So when they came out, they went into the herd of swine, and suddenly the whole herd of swine ran violently down the steep place into the sea and perished in the water. <clears throat> then those who kept them fled and went away into the city and told everything, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to depart from their region. In this scripture reading, one thing stands out. It's a simple word, fear. There is so much fear in here. And it's basically a continuation from the reading yesterday, where the disciples were fearful when the storm blew the boat around. But here Jesus met two demon-possessed men. They were exceedingly fierce, it says. And no one would pass by them because of the fear what would happen with these from this, to these two men. And it's interesting also to read then, these two poor men feared, feared Jesus. They were demons. Demons had possessed them. And the demons were even fearing God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As they said, and they cried out, what have we to do with you, Jesus, you Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? They feared what Jesus was going to do. And then, of course, to be driven out of the men, they didn't just want to go in the wilderness. They saw some swine. And they asked Jesus to let them to enter the swine. And then, of course, the great fear came on the swine. They went running down the hill and drowned themselves in the water. The swine herdsmen then rushed off to the city to tell everybody what was happening. And then, of course, the people from the city came to see what was going on, to see the demon-possessed men, to see this man Jesus. And they became fearful. They asked him to leave. These herdsmen were fearful because it was against the law for them to take care of swine pigs unclean they all wanted him to go fear had taken grip of them 
How often does fear take grip of you? Well, think about it. I know, it does happen. And it's not that hard for it to come about. Fear comes upon us all, every one of us. And as Jesus said in yesterday's reading, O oh, you of little faith, O oh, you of little faith, why should we be fearing? Why should these in this today's reading be fearful? People didn't like walking past the demon-possessed men. They were fearful what might happen. The demon-possessed men didn't want, or the demons, that is, didn't want Jesus to cast them out into the wilderness. The herdsmen were worried and fearful, and they had to go and tell everybody in the city what had happened. And when they returned to find Jesus and the two demon-possessed men, fear then took hold of them, and they wanted him to leave. They begged him to depart from their region. They were fearful. Ask yourself, why am I fearful? If we have strong faith, why are we fearful? And I'm not only talking about you or the person next to you or someone down the road. I'm talking about you and also at times I'm talking about myself. Sometimes I'm attacked. It's a weakness we all have, fear. Some people do say it is also good to have that fear. But fear comes on us all in various forms. Fearful of losing. Losing something or other, whether it's possessions, whether it's family, whether it's your health. Then, what's happening? Our faith is being tested. And it happens frequently for a lot of us. We are put to the test. Our faith is tested. So, we need to battle that, that fear that is used against us, to shake our faith. We must be strong in the faith. We must believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Without Jesus, there could be no faith. Without Jesus, there is no faith. We must believe. Believe that Jesus Christ is more powerful. The Son of God is more powerful than the enemy, Satan. Our Heavenly Father said He would take care of us. He loves us so much. When we fear, do we doubt that love? When we fear about different things, we all know what our weak points are. I don't need to talk about them that much. You know exactly fear how can you be fearful 
when you know you have a Heavenly Father who loves you so much. To save us, he sent his son to die for us. And then after, when Jesus ascended back to the Father, the Holy Spirit was sent to keep us, protect us, to guide us. How can we be fearful when we have so much love around us? Pray to the Holy Spirit. When these attacks of being fearful come on us, that he will drive them away. For me, the Jesus prayer is probably the best weapon I've ever had. When I feel the attack coming, I will say the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And I keep on saying that prayer all the time, over and over again. I'm no longer then focused on fear. I'm focused on Jesus, my Saviour. Keep praying. Keep going to church. Keep fellowshipping with other believers receive the mysteries of the church receive the sacraments the food the body and blood of christ this will give us strength to fight against satan and for the fear that comes upon us may the blessing of almighty god the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.